gravitation problems on acceleration due to gravity problem 1 if the moon attracts the earth why does the earth not move towards the moon we know from newton's third law that moon attracts two objects action and reaction when earth attracts the moon moon also attracts the earth but we also know from the second law newton's second law of motion we know that force of attraction is mass into acceleration that means the acceleration is force by mass it means that acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass of the object now in this case let's see what is the acceleration that the earth experience where m is 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg whereas in the case of moon the mass is 7.4 into 10 to the power 22 kg so there is a difference of 100 times this 100 times difference will reflect a difference of 100 times with respect to acceleration so the acceleration of earth is much lesser than acceleration of moon and therefore earth does not move towards the moon and same happens with respect to the moon moon also does not move towards the earth that is because of the large distance that is between them and gravitational force is proportional to 1 by d square and the force becomes very small since the force of attraction is negligible in case of earth and moon and moon stays in its orbit circular orbit due to the centripetal force exerted by the earth let's see the next problem gravitational force acts on all objects in proportion to their masses why then a heavy object does not fall further than a light object this is because we know the gravitational acceleration due to gravity is given as g into mass by r square the mass there is let's say that of the earth mass of earth the acceleration due to gravity here does not depend on mass of the object mass of the object does not figure in the formula so g does not depend on mass of the object therefore g being independent of the mass heavy or light objects see the same acceleration and fall at the same time if at all there is a difference it is because of the air friction which we have seen in the description of this topic you find your mass to be 42 kg on a weighing machine is your mass greater than 42 kg or less than 42 kg we know the weight is given as m into g now when a person is on the weighing machine which is weighing it as 42 kg basically has weight of u plus weight of weighing machine so the gravitational force is acting on both the weights weight of u and weight of the machine hence your actual mass will be less than 42 kg until and unless machine is calibrated therefore the machine needs to be calibrated to zero to get accurate weight.